As coronavirus cases surge in parts of the U.S., some officials are blaming young people. And there are some troubling trends when it comes to COVID-19 and Generation Z. Let's connect the dots. In states across the country seeing a spike in coronavirus, governors are pleading with young people to wear masks and practice social distancing. And there are numbers to back up their concern. According to authorities in Texas, more than half of the new cases in hotspots like Houston, Dallas, Austin, and San Antonio are among people 35 and under. While the CDC reports that younger people are more likely to be asymptomatic or have mild symptoms, that doesn't mean they're in the clear. We're also seeing a spike in hospitalizations for people ages 18 to 49. Austin's medical director reports an increasing number of those young people are ending up in the ICU and on ventilators. And while young people are less likely to die from this virus, we're starting to learn more about the long-term effects of COVID-19. Global researchers are reporting patients who recover, suffering from everything from permanent lung scarring to heart damage to neurological symptoms. So while young people may feel invincible, Coronavirus is teaching all of us some harsh lessons. Connecting the dots, I'm Stephanie Whitfield for H-Town Rush.